Idaho, Blue Turf Football, The Great Outdoors, The Idaho Vandals, first team ever to relegate back to the FCS, and oh yeah, did I mention Dank Potatoes. While Boise State has been in the spotlight here in the Pacific Northwest, something else was growing right underneath their nose 25 minutes away in CUNA, Idaho. The CUNA Kings, initially established in 2002 as a community college for farmers. They are commonly referred to as the Potato Kings because the soil content in the area is in the 99th percentile. No one grows potatoes quite like the CUNA Kings. Kings. In fact, CUNA potatoes are the gold standard in the farming community. Now this little city dreams of being the new gold standard of college football. A local CUNA legend and graduate from CUNA Community College in 2011, Old McDonald set the school sack record with 41 and a half over two seasons. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he grew the first gold potato. No, actually the potato had solid gold on the inside. The discovery made him one of the wealthiest humans on the planet. Staying true to his roots in community, Old McDonald generously gave $69 million to CUNA Community College. In return, McDonald had three wishes. Let's go D1, let's go win a national championship, and let me coach the team. The very next day, CUNA's AD fired previous head coach Chad Beaver on the spot. The donation changed the game overnight. Now established as a Division I school and in the FBS, enrollment skyrocketed. I hope you're ready because the CUNA Kings are ready to make their debut this fall with Coach McDonald leading the way. Let's go meet Old McDonald's boys star quarterback or something like that 64 overall farmer brown he played qb for cuna high and then went to cuna community college to study agriculture man was just learning how to till the soil until old mcdonald gave him a call wanting him to try out for the team now a junior he won the job but guys like herb cedar are right behind him one two punch on the ground led by dale harvester backed up by star key orchard buck hayfield t meadow brent aker and cj cropper are a tight knit wide receiver room tight end boston rock is joining the front line kevin gardner's our best corner but tyreek sunset and DeMarvin Cheese should be holding their own. Let's be real, Old McDonald needs to start blowing up the prospect pipeline because this team is in need of some help. Six and seven last season before joining the FBS. Here is a look at the inaugural season for the CUNY Kings. We got Georgia week one on the road. After that, Mountain West Conference play begins with three home games in a row at Royal Harvest Stadium. Essentially done with conference play in week seven minus this Colorado State game. We have three non-conference opponents in Maryland, UA B and UMass. Speaking of UMass, let me introduce you to our rivalry games. The Harvest Heritage Showdown. Founded in 1863 as the Massachusetts Agricultural College, they have a rich history rooted in agriculture and education. For some reason, these guys have a hard time grasping the fact that our potatoes and crops are so much better than theirs. The Gold Rush Classic against the Wyoming Cowboys. It evokes the historical Western rush for gold, tying nicely into Wyoming's heritage. While the Cowboys search their barren wasteland of a state for gold, we hit the gold mine with Old McDonald's discovery of golden potatoes. The most heated rivalry saved for last, it's the pride of Idaho on the line, Boise State University. This one's called the Gem State Grudge Match because, well, Idaho's famously known as the Gem State. Here is a look at CUNA's first prospect list where dreams become reality for these prospects. I do want to come out the rip here and caveat that Team Builder is in a beta state, so what you'll see are pipelines and prospects and school traditions and grades, everything based on the team that I replaced which is a bummer because it's not taking into consideration CUNA, Idaho in the geographic region. That won't stop us from looking far and wide to plant the seed and reap what we sow on the recruiting board. At 67 overhaul and week across the board, I think what's most pressing is the offensive line. Depth is surprisingly not an issue. We found a lot of volunteers ready to play ball. It's just the quality of prospects and quality of players need to improve. But how can you blame a school that just went D1? Our first crop of 35 led by Sam Prince when we're sorted by national rank. Let's go ahead and check out what he has got. The first prospect scouted out in CUNA history. Looks good to me. Wait a minute. It's too fitting. Prince, CUNA Kings. He is the heir to the left tackle throne. Bingo. Our first gem is Brendan DeMarco. We're just going to have to find a way to get into the recruiting battle because the interest is off the charts for other schools. Before I waste too many hours scouting out prospects, I should just go ahead and give everyone a scholarship because our team is that bad where anyone three star and up would be a boost. Looks like we found our very own Walmart version, Keenan Allen. Scouting out the attributes, does he play like a Keenan Allen? Meh, time will tell. Let me know in the comment section down below your prediction for year one of the CUNA Kings. Week one of CUNA Kings football starts now. We're on the road. Georgia Bulldogs, bring it on. Here we go. 
the first team builder series in college football 25 man it is finally here we have arrived after 11 years i cannot wait to run this series back and it all starts right here where were you the first time cuna took the field we get to see a lot of georgia storming onto their home field and boom wearing the away jerseys cursive script helmets in this one kings got the bling now who's with me let's go shock the world and upset number one seed in the rain wide receiver number six dominic here 94 speed he should be fast and a challenge for our dbs to keep up with our jerseys came out so clean i'm not gonna lie and there's the first stop of the game that's right we're soaking up every moment of this team builder and meadow made the first tackle so there's a fun trivia question when your friends ask who got the first tackle it's meadow second and ten i'm taking control of ox ox who gets the stop amazing sack i just don't even know what happened we got it bro i'm speechless i didn't even know what to say or how to announce that we just got a sack number 93 garlic brings down carson back and it's a third and long to go one more look at that sally hold on now he's got something going there i promise i won't pause every single time but i'm just surprised that a 60 overall team is playing some football three and out for the number one seed buford taking the punt return and gonna get us to almost midfield now we get to see some impact players cam wheeler buck hayfield spotlighted and there's farmer brown that's crazy the whole team already enters the game with the snowflake i haven't seen that yet it might be just because we're extremely bad plus we're in hostile territory georgia toughness rank zero in the top right that's definitely a glitch i wonder if they mean they are number one and if you couldn't tell already look at farmer brown the lefty slinger getting the first ball out to brent aker last pause for a while i promise i had just have to see the first completion in school history once more brent aker big snag big third in two let's hand it off to brent aker once more who fights for the first down at midfield let's see what our running back harvester has up his sleeve zero yards after seeing how not successful that was i don't think i'm gonna call it again instead i'm just gonna go over the middle rock dropped it come on boston rock i need you there the only one without a snowflake is meadow and harvester so maybe i look for one of them and oh, i was gonna take a deep shot to the streaking receiver instead it gets peanut punched out of there touchdown georgia it is mayhem in this place and it is going to be a hard environment to get any momentum harvester picked us up four yards now the backup orchard is in and we're just dumping it right out to him who can't really squeak through you hear georgia's band playing they are a rowdy bunch we have an open man brent aker mr reliable so far that'll knock off some snowflakes and slow and steady wins this race except when your offensive line can't give you the time of day to take it slow there's rock up the middle big third down farmer brown just looking for some composure the crowd is not going to give him a break we do have an open man once again brent check down king predicted to finish last in the mountain west who thinks we have a chance against georgia in their right mind farmer brown does he never stops believing 21 yard scamper stepping up again in the pocket he is out of there and he slides down for the first third and goal hayfield is so far out there that i can't even audible to him because he won't hear me over the noise and we'll just take a check down to harvester and at least settle for three 28 yard field goal i should realize too that a kick is no sure thing in this stadium and with our kicker let's try it out looks pretty good to me we nail it van farm has etn duties on this play and it is not going to go to etn instead this tight end was wide carson beck wants points he's going up the middle it's a read option he got out of there touchdown looks like getting three points settled our guys down just a bit so we have time to go across the middle and just lob a floater that hung up forever intercepted third and three what are they going to dial up there big disruption by the defensive end third down everyone's ice cold maybe our running back oh he would have been out of there huge turn of events has our guys down the field dumping the slip screen to harvester can you get forward and reach so close to the end zone i can almost taste it up the middle harvesters in there the first ever score in cuna king history go ahead and inject that ice into your veins my boy things move so quickly at the two minute drill but oh baby that sack is costly for georgia the man the myth 
with it was Ox Ox delivering the sack. Crowd's awfully quiet for this field goal attempt. I can imagine they want their kicker to nail it, so they focus in. Game is going much better than anticipated for our first ever. As Harvester's trying to break tackles, he breaks a couple, but goes minus two. If we keep playing like this, surely at some point we'll take on a Mountain West opponent and beat him. Offensive line clearly needs help, but you know what else needs help? This quarterback, because he got a noodle of an arm. For someone as physical as a farmer, you'd think they'd be able to get more steam on their pass as Rock breaks free, thankfully securing it. Love seeing Boston Rock get free out there. That's what it's all about, as Brent Aker does his part too. All right, Farmer, show me what's up. Make me eat my words, as he just keeps it in himself. Chances slowly fading away from us. We'll go ahead and hit Aker. That pass was behind him. Big fourth down. Maybe we can get some single coverage to pick on. Just going to launch one up. Mayfield trying to go back for it. Yeah, it was a long shot to take down Georgia, but I'm happy with how our team performed in this one today. All said and done, 48 to 17, 0 and 1 we go. This was to be expected. Old McDonald looks like a quick learner. He got two more level ups so he can put it into the recruiting tree. Offensive line and quarterback, that's where our points are headed. My sweet, sweet Sam Prince, we are third on the list and Auburn is pulling away. Already sending the house there's not much I can do at this stage, but man, old McDonald would be heartbroken if we can't bring Prince to the Kings. That game against Georgia was technically week zero. Now it's week one, and here we are against the Air Force Falcons. So badly, I want to say, let's soak them up. I'll need a new catchphrase for this team. Maybe bake them up like a baked potato, spud them up, mash them up like mashed potatoes. Heck, maybe after this first season, I'll take a community vote. Air Force Colorado Springs, Colorado, the site for this one, a familiar place, familiar location along the Rocky Mountain region, just where Idaho and CUNA are too. They don't have the highest overall, but we are worse. So we have no room to talk about anyone else. If you didn't catch, I'm wearing one of my alternate unis. It's the gold because we are kings after all, and the golden potato stays in CUNA. Farmer Brown, welcome back to the scene. This team needs a hero and you need to be the guy to show him you can bring it as he dumps it to rock what a good first play call me crazy but i'm actually thinking we might have a chance now that it's not a team like georgia as we take a one-on-one -on -one shot huge play this is mayhem early number three hey field hold on a second do you peep that a tiger behind him? What are you doing here? This has got to be a spy from another team disguised as a mascot because that looks a little shady. Reminiscent of Michigan, anyone? We worked hard to get down to the red zone. Let's finish it off with the handoff. Harvester, he is gone. Touchdown. Loki, like one of the only ones on this team that feels fast. Yet that's only 86 speed. So imagine when we start bringing in 90 plus speed, it's wraps. On defense, we got to look out for Cam Wheeler as the Falcon offense is ready to play. Triple option football is going to be an experience experiment the D line wasn't fooled here the good news with this whole flex bone offense it's not really designed to move extremely fast if they fall behind there's not much chance they can get back in this case in point fourth down get the ball back if we add more points just rinse and repeat it's going to be a very difficult game for air force with the worst roster in college football and on heisman difficulty we'd like to show everyone we can win a game falcons tied it up and they're going for a quick slant where did they pull that out of threatening us in the red zone back to pass once more this is a surprising look qb keeps back to the ground again where did 21 just zip up from showing folks we are still very much a work in progress but the defensive line dropping him for loss beautiful job from bale here and we're gonna need bale to try to cover that zone and there goes the lead there goes a tie game or behind maybe i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself after the success on our first drive as i did not get any bite from the receiver all bait touchdown pick six 21 7 second quarter football dumping it to harvester give me a block there trying to follow him as long as we could second and two demolished safe to say i think i got ahead of myself just a little bit sacked again on the verge of getting messy i was delusional after that touchdown and big play from hayfield who tried to do it again no point in me trying to run the ball right now either because we're so behind we have to go to guys like rock to step up and make plays hurrying up to the line farmer got there fast and he got another big tight end 
plow this time the backup running wild shoot if it ain't broke don't fix it let's go ahead and call the same play back to the line is anyone gonna get separation this time around plow lobbing it up big fella incomplete gave us a chance to breathe and now we can think clearly go across to brent aker who looks to race for the finish line first in goal clock is ticking over to plow nope this formation looks like it's a good idea to hand off so i audible let's let harvester just take it up the middle and homie do better offensive line seriously do better as we find brent touchdown acre never say die for the potato kings unless you're throwing that risky ball fourth quarter still only down by two scores so maybe if we hit our tight end rock would have been rolling now it's fourth down strong flood this could get open brent what you got man way to secure it pretty reliable receiver i've noticed early in this one and how about you meadow yes just like that into the red zone across the middle rock doing something right if we can get the rock to rock just like here first and goal gonna run an rpo and just hand it off to a bunch of big linemen not my brightest idea i know but this could be better rock fighting all the way down just at the two i'm not afraid to step up and take off if i have to like here we have a guy we can throw it to but why not walk the dog bringing this game all the way back to one possession just need to stop air force's run game we know it's going to be coming in vigorously Seriously, what are we doing? Need to make the stop, so I'm sending the house, and Wheeler was all there. Cam, out of boy. Old McDonald was too busy smiling about that stop that he forgot to take a timeout sooner. 52 seconds and two timeouts should be plenty. Let's go ahead and receive this and see if we can get it to a better position. Let's go ahead and methodically drive, looking for rock. Good start. I had a couple, maybe threw this one a little late, and Brent, no. My man straight up dropped it, so that is unfortunate. Maybe redemption here. So it's fourth down. Farmer Brown, pull out whatever you can find. Slant across. He dropped it. No. I literally went to the star receiver for a reason. I thought he would have hands. Now, victory formation for the Falcons. They take this one out. Hello, ON2. Around the conference, Mountain West Players of the Week, Michael Coates, Ron Kramer, Nevada is all over this board for the first couple games. Yeah, I yearn for the day we can get a king on that list. With the limited 400 hours we have, we're actually getting some motion on a DB, a left end gem although Syracuse is in the running again. Never say never on Prince. But what I'm learning is maybe it would have been better to fire one of these coordinators because when you're just starting a college program, you want to build a pipeline in a recruiting system as early and strong as you can. Having a master motivator and scheme guru don't really fit the mold at this second. It was old head coach Chad Beaver's final wish before leaving to keep his friends at the coordinator roles. And man, I'm starting to regret listening to him. Sounds harsh, yes, I know, but it feels like we're behind the eight ball in our first season a pivotal foundational year that's beside the point because we have our first rivalry game in store and first home game all in the same breath it is wyoming the gold rush classic is underway here we go in the kick return knocking him back first time playing at home come on baby this is what it's all about our stadium looking crisp the mountain west logos looking crisp this run not so crisp cuna idaho a small town outside of oh my gosh i cannot believe how filthy this run was. DJ Jones just went crazy with it. Up the middle on the run, threw our man down, causing a couple behind him to trip. Cam Wheeler couldn't track it. It was lights out for the running back. Let's go ahead and jet touch it to Brent Aker. Cuts it upfield. He's got some blockers and he sheds free. Juke and everything. Oh my gosh, 22. Keep it going. Brent hustle i know you're fatigued yo ain't no way we just did that come on man man oh man this play went berserk jet touch pass up the gut breaking a couple tackles getting blocks juking two more out shedding another one i'm blushing Brent, oh, excitement through the roof on the first drive for both teams. Bubba Van Farm with his arm brace and all trying to remind them that they're visitors. Crowd getting loud. We got uh, some wide open 83. No, busted coverage in the secondary. It's a jet touch for 83. They wanted to try to pull one off too. Another option run. 
receiver was going nowhere. Third and nine, zig. We were there to cover it, but then we got off it last second, and that was all 84 needed. Up the middle with the blitz, trying to get through. Pr protection just held up, 16s down into the goal line. I joked about it, my NCAA 14 team builder, but Evan Savota looks like Josh Allen. He's wearing the same number even. Y'all should know who Josh Allen is. He went to Wyoming and he cooked for the Mountain West. Actually was his only D1 offer and he made it count as we make it count right there until we don't. Savota, speak of the man picks up the fumble and scores. What a wacky sequence of events this game has already gotten off to as Hayfield throws one down. Second and three, just gonna take the short out to plow. Now running a play action under extreme pressure. Verticals here, just gonna take the underneath or not even anyone. Hand off to number four, just puts on a juke, cuts up field. There's a jet touch, fake, back to the running back. Thankfully, we had guys ready. Second and goal, hand off to number four, out of there. Tight end cross, off the back foot. Terrible, terrible decision and throw. Towards the end of the third quarter, just gonna hit Rock once more, see if he can break a tackle. First and goal. Gold Rush Classic not really going our way this second, but maybe Rock can get a touchdown. Always a good idea to go right back the middle. There's our Rock. Boston, Rock, getting it done. Maybe it only took just a second for us to get warmed up, because we're gonna take a deep shot to Hayfield, who comes down with it, mosses that man, and suns him. Get down, boy. Need to get a stop on third down. It's a play action. I'm covering. We're all there. So you're telling me there's a chance anything can go in a rivalry matchup. I'm warning y'all, don't let the farmer get hot. It's a dangerous sight, and that is a dangerous pass. Not what we want to do. Here we go, second chance, back to Hayfield. Second chances don't always come, so we need to make the most of this one right here. Rock, I know who to count on to lead the way. Here we go, deep cross, we might have him, except I didn't see this dude just standing over here. Did not see the dude just standing over there casually waiting for something, so we'll go ahead and dump that one into the lap of a cornerback. Jeez Louise. Victory formation for Wyoming. Another one possession, one score defeat, 28-20. The Gold Rush Trophy belongs to Evan and the Cowpokes. Finally starting to crack the case on some recruits. Craig Mangum, a center. We know his interest and we can hard sell him when he's ready. My bad, I forgot he has to narrow down his list. Blair Boyd, on the other hand, a cornerback is ready for hard sells, and we know two of his interests. Do we guess on the third? I'm gonna start by looking to see if there are any talents that double dip. Grassroots does, but he's not interested in pro potential, so by default, Blair wants to be a hometown hero. Mitch Birmingham, the gem quarterback, is ready for the hard sell, so let's get him the TV time he deserves. Initially, I'm choosing to go for some big guys to make big splashes on this team when I'm wondering if I should have gone for the quantity approach, try to hit as many three stars as possible just to get a base layer for the next year. Recruiting has me worried at the moment. Fresno State has me worried at the moment. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of things on this CUNA King team has me worried, but we're in for the long haul. Mountain West wasn't conquered in a day. Just like Farmer Brown wasn't a star quarterback in a day, it takes time out here. Quickly down to third and 18. We're just calling this flood and seeing if anyone wants to go up and make a play. One on one ball intercepted. Scattering report on Fresno State. They got Mikey Keene and some other star players. They're a good looking team in this conference. They're honestly where we wanna be in maybe three years tops. Bring in the blitz, go ahead and get past and intercept it. Paddock is there, our first interception that we've been able to control ourselves for CUNA. Let's go. Atta baby Lou, let's go ahead and reverse pass it. That's right and get destroyed. Brent had no time to breathe on that one. I see we're taking a page from Boise State's book. That's funny. Scrambling out to our left. We do have an opening. However, an aggressive corner came in and picked it off when our guy didn't even turn around. Van Farm, hold the farm down, my friend. Didn't do that at all like I asked. Would like to see some positive movement here if only I had another second to breathe. At home, kicking a 51 yard field goal, the meter has no business being this fast during a home game. However, we're unfazed, except shanking it left anyway. Fresno State this close to running away with the game. They get another touchdown. Let's go ahead and fake the jet touch and see if we can get anyone out here at all. 
why are the interceptions over the top today no receivers breaking for the ball they see farmer out here just throwing another duck fart and give up maybe hayfield is the one to break the spell sos brent aker is it your turn this is what i'm talking about inaccurate balls and our receiver is not breaking on it. They don't want to play today, it looks like. McDonald even whips. It is rainy, so maybe that's exactly what's going on here. They can't get separation. They're getting stuck and not able to hold on to a wet ball. Farmer Brown, two for 11. We can chalk this one up as his worst performance in history. He hasn't played this bad since his one peewee game all the way back in middle school. Forced to go for it on a fourth down. Seriously, though, I don't know what we can do besides finally one positive play. Let's go, Farmer. Dial one up here to Cropper, first and goal. Ready to cash in before halftime. Aker, I saw you, but I didn't have time. Which is why we're recruiting offensive line as our first top prospects. Coach McDonald called for a field goal, but I don't think so. We have to get a touchdown if we wanted to even stay close. Yeah, let's not talk about this one. I'm at the point where I'm just working on my rushing attack. I would like to pound the rock more, but I can never get enough momentum early in a game to try it. More often than not, it's games like this where we fall behind by a mile and are just forced to do anything to pull something out. As we just lob one up, fourth and goal. Playing for pride, there's no way I go for three points. All right, everyone, erase this game from your memory. This game never happened. Got it? Good. Azillian Hamilton definitely didn't get two ends in a touchdown because this game never happened. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Brandon, the gym, we're starting to lose on him and I have not uncovered any interest of this recruit. We have uncovered a lot of things he doesn't like. So grassroots is probably the most likely option. You know what? That is it because no other combination matches up. So let's get back in the race. I guess the pain doesn't end here. Sam Prince has blocked us because of our playing style at an F. Same with Manny Martinez, man, an F for playing style. It's a deal breaker for him. What offensive player is going to want to come to us if we're an F? Losing a lot of battles, Barry Page is a loss now too. Third home game in a row, this time against Utah State. As you can see on the right and left, the little fans that we had to start with are dwindling. No one wants to see this winless product just continue to lob balls into nowhere land. That is insane how inaccurate it was. Like Farmer Brown could have the best of intentions and then just throw that thing a mile away, just like this one. Oh, how we need that gem quarterback off the board as soon as possible. Utah State, the Aggies are one and two. So if we have a good chance to win a game, it could be this one. Now second and goal, quarterback dumps it out low, hit stick delivered. Read option, bring in the house, someone get around and make a tackle. There we go. That was Ox Ox getting the stop. And now we can at least hold them to three and have a chance to get some points and not be blown out already. Buddy went ahead and shanked a 20 yard field goal. That is absurd. Cuna getting risky for it. Fourth down. We just want to get the conversion. Seriously, cringe worthy performance from Farmer Brown in this one at the moment and let them cook. All things considered, only giving up 14 points in this one is not a bad job. Third and three, let's just lob it up. Maybe the running back can get a step. Everything's out of reach. Did Farmer Brown not eat his fruity pebbles or something this morning? Because why is man missing every ball? Farmer Brown, super ice cold out here. Can we just get in? Season started off promising, but now we're facing shutout after shutout. We did better low key against Georgia. We overperformed in the season opener and growing pains were expected. All for pride at this point. Let's at least try to get one score on the book. Third and six across the middle. Mayfield, Hayfield. Yes. Give me a K. Give me an I. Give me an N G S. Kings, Kings, Kings. Touchdown. If you believe in miracles, the only thing we can really hope for here is a couple long bomb connections, which is unlikely given the fact that we're getting clamped up at the line almost every single play except for this one to cropper touchdown hold the phone onside kick 101 i have no idea what i'm doing let's just try to go left closer to our guys and then hit that meter as best we could looked like a good effort another one comes falling flat 21 14 no one could say we didn't have our chances i mean spencer over here threw for 116 passing yards that's it in the mountain west san diego state joins us in the gulag unlv our next opponent is 0 and two not sure how they've only played two games when we've played five and lost them all already nevada the surprise team right now at five and oh is that realistic some of the recruits we're looking at are ready for a visit but let's be real i don't want to send them to any of the games we play it's 
like guaranteed losing motivation. It's like guaranteed losing interest, even though we're in so many close battles and not guaranteed to get anyone. On that inspiring note, let's go mash them up. UNLV Rebel time. Dropped every game during the homestand. Maybe our luck can change on the road. We played okay to Georgia lost by what, 31? That's a good sign. It wasn't 60, it wasn't 70. So maybe the road is where we belong because no fans were showing up anyway in CUNA anymore. CUNA, Idaho is like one of those small places where first of all, you're competing with Boise State. So if your team starts to stink like we are, they'll just go watch Boise State football. But two, there's a lot of agriculture. So farming is a big deal if you didn't know. Farmers are hardworking and they gotta take a lot of time out of their day to come support this football team. And if they're not winning, they're not gonna come out. So what do you say, team? Let's win back the trust of our farming community. Healthy dose of Harvester on the first drive. There we go. Haven't been able to mix it up as much as I want to because of how bad the blowouts have been. No more excuses here because we can go to work on the opening drive. Our target is one win this season and Brent hauls in at the hospital pass. Big third down, key opening drive. There's Meadow, he is taken off, good play. Marching right down the field as we asked. Now third and seven, just gonna let one rip. Settling for three points, we wanna at least get on the board. Scratch that, zero, zero. In trouble at the red zone, need to make a stop. Huge sack, that's my boy. Is that garlic, I think? No, that was Weeds, haven't seen much of him. Weeds 97 on the defensive line there with the last sack. He's usually caught up in the weeds, in the trenches, not making plays like that. Nice little DB out here in Paddock. He's made a few good plays last couple weeks. Those are the only compliments I can really make for the team as they've been stifled. I count this defensive hold as a success and a blocked kick even greater of a success. Meadow scoops it up, running down the sideline. Big six, touch down, let's go. We take the points any way we can get them. About the only time you'll hear me call Cheese's name, he is a role player at best, but that was role playing at its finest. 7-0, I like the sound of that. Let's keep it going, Rock. Fourth and one, don't let your dreams be dreams, just do it. Ah. The day we bring an actual quarterback into the picture, no offense, Farmer, but that'll be a big day. Third and manageable, I'm gonna audible to a read option because I think that's a safe bet for us to keep it but oh yeah that's right offensive line does not exist now it's fourth down we'll just lob one up over the linebacker didn't lob enough arc on it instead UNV gets a chance to score and wow we didn't get any jump on our linebacker second and goal for UNLV pick that off someone make a play is this an official review he caught that thing that should be a touchdown and yep it was overturned third and five we got a deep cross maybe meadow comes down with it whatever we dial up here needs to get into the end zone or out of bounds what's it gonna be running back come through for me three points okay not too shabby i do know that we need to stop botching chances that we get because they're not gonna last good red zone opportunity i don't know why we took it we should have handed it off second and 14 this time we should have also handed it off. Probably the worst sequence events we could have done to ourselves. Instead, we can lob it up to rock and hope. Kicker has been lights out. 40 yards, no problem. One of the only reasons I can credit our team still being in this thing after all. Harvester picks up the first. Third and 11, maybe. At least we got it to the ground harmless. 30 yarder, a 40 yarder. Can we tack on a 50 yarder? Looks good to me splits it no good defense has only been able to hold for so long we can't do it all day except paddock can this is what he's built for dude has a nose for the ball i'll tell you what i see one cuna king that has secured himself a job for the next season and that's paddock our kicker's been busy he needs to hurry and nail this one wear and tear is starting to play a little bit of a factor to some of our attributes but nah man it shouldn't be like this over the middle slant Nah, going for it again, not by choice, but by necessity. And why is everything so far? The amount of times Farmer Brown keeps throwing one out of reach. You'd be rich if you got a dollar every time he did it. Just audible it a bit. Maybe someone can spring free for me if we can even have the time of day. Fourth and 17, back literally against our own end zone. My only hope is just to air out a bomb and the receiver got through. And would you believe it? We missed him just like we missed the coverage. You got me messed up out here, man. That is for sure. I just want... 
That's all you need to see, folks. Pick for the dagger. We had a chance against UNOV, we really did. No one to blame but ourselves. CUNA Kings implode after getting the lead. On a dry spell with the recruiting front, CUNA just needs some good news. Maybe we can play big against Hawaii and that'll be the good news. Opening drive, time to defend the Royal Harvest Stadium. The quarterback from Hawaii is solid, so I'll give him props where he deserves it. And I know they have a speedster in McBride out there on one of the outside routes as Wheeler comes up and clocks the running back. Turning the stadium up, we're getting loud, read option. I bet we all bet fool just need to make a stop make a play anyone step up and stop this ground attack so many games we feel close on the precipice of something until teams like Hawaii just drive right down the field one of the menu panels just said he threw for four touchdown passes in 300 yards last game and I could see how this team is alive not the start we were looking for and I gotta admit our quarterback has to be the most hit pressured guy in the nation down by two touchdowns this would be a great time to break loose on something anything Hawaii is playing hot and this is exactly what I was worried about down 23-0. So back to the air we go, hit our fullback bail first down. Hawaii get, got unnecessary roughness call, so that gives us a chance to score. Dumping it to bail, they swarmed on him. Fourth and eight, looking across the middle, pressure. Hawaii, I hope you enjoyed your flight to Idaho and have a safe flight home. By the time this season's over, there'll be like no one in the stands. Ran out of steam in this potato engine, losing Brendan DeMarco to Syracuse. This would be a good time for me to replenish my board, so I sorted by at the stage, looking for guys that don't have any offers and little battle in the wings, sort of like the Juco transfer Caesar. We could probably get in there. You never know who you can find by entering these late battles. And in our case, the Kings could use all the help they can find. Fresh and ready to return to the battle it's our arch nemesis Boise State in the inaugural season Boise is headed 20 25 minutes up the road to CUNA Idaho for this game and we're underway let's go farmer brown 1800 passing yards eight touchdown passes 22 ins but he's gonna be back to farming after this season because we're looking to bring in a new qb if we can pull off a crazy upset against boise i would be surprised for all the troubles we've had in the mountain west this team is the cream of the crop usually mountain west royalty every single year but it's the inaugural season of potato king football so anything goes when you're the visiting team at this stadium better yet i should be saying anything goes in a rivalry matchup because that is exactly what this soon will be for now boise doesn't probably realize it they're not thinking much about us but we're thinking about them third and 11 stepping up Got him, Harvester, through the window, jeesh. Now third and 13, looking for some big contribution and the offensive line busted me up. That's right, fourth and 13, not much to lose. Let's go for it all. Okay, I take it back, a lot to lose. Now Ashton, Jen, Team Malachi Nelson, going to work. My first full Dynasty rebuild series is Boise State. Trust me, I know all too well what Jen, and Malachi Nelson are about, and this is just a sample. They mean business, hurrying up to the line, trying to catch us napping already. Stadium getting to Malachi, he can't hear the call, and he's gonna hand it off to Ashton. All 300 fans in the stands, causing a difference in the atmosphere. Let me guess, a handoff to Jen, what do you know and he's out of there first in goal up the middle genty makes it look so easy it shouldn't be this easy man one play is all it took to swing something in our favor now rock needs to hit the school of hard rock Knox because i want to see him learn how to catch and run better no reason we need to stand idle waiting we could go to work right away yeesh 31-0 shutout. Boise State doesn't even blink. They're not really thinking of us at all. Gem State grudge match didn't go our way, so our grudge grows for next season. Definitely stinks knowing that the Potato Cup is in Boise this season. Up the interstate 20 minutes away. Huge bummer here in Blair Boyd. Pulling off the dogs this late in the game. It stinks. Instead, I'm going to give scholarships to all of the three stars that we went and looked at during the last week's panel. Needing to make up ground on limited points, this might be the second half we need as jason wheeler locks in his top three i went ahead and gave him an extra dm to remind us we're here also gonna give nolan the promise of tv time right guys lots of prime time tv one day one day but that day is not today that's crazy man we're seriously gonna lose keenan allen too i don't even know if it's worth holding on another week quickly gave Valami the campus personality pitch because we're losing ground in virginia losing all these games also means no upgrade points but fire me up and mash my potatoes because we got one up in here Woo! Woo! big old mitch is cuna king's first ever signee and he's a gem quarterback the future
future is here. It's so beautiful, it brings a tear to old McDonald's eyes. Out of high school, he's got some stats. Another last second buzzer beater from Syracuse looks to be inevitable. Neck and neck with a few other recruits outside of Mitch, I hope we can get a domino effect eventually on our hands. But for now, Terps are the bigger issue in worrying about how badly the beatdown might be coming. Really hoping that our signing of Big Mitch lit a fire under Farmer Brown, because we need him to play out of his mind and Roman is out of his mind right now. Let's go ahead and hand it off to Harvester, see if he can work his magic, and what a juke. Found the hole and pay dirt, so now we're in this thing after all. Third and 13, make it fourth and 19 with a big sack from Ox Ox. Celebrating the defense can only be short-lived when we're back and in the red zone. Second and 12, cover to invert flat. Did not work, but the receiver was clueless. Brings us to a third and 12. Let's not let a six happen. How does that sound? Defense align on board. We'd stepped up, and you know what? Another blocked kick from Cheese would be timely right about now, but it doesn't happen. Two minute drill on the road. It's important we make these opportunities count can count on you, Harvester. It's been far too long since we've had a sustained drive that I could smile about. Large third and 10 right here looming and lurked out of the coverage. He comes and back to the coverage he goes. Pick six. Fourth and 10, our coach wants me to call a curl flat. Not sure how effective that would be. Never know. The state of our team needs work, and there was a safety just casually waiting for that to happen. Take one last good look at the Maryland crowd because the three weeks we had to prepare was not enough. The schedule was wonky, eight straight games, and then we come back out after a three-week three break. Did someone say garbage time? Because that's what I want. Last chance right here, right now. I'm stubborn, so I call the timeout, even though it's fourth and goal and we're down by 23. I really want to prove we can score a touchdown, and we do. Thank you, sir. Cropper crop dust and his opponents on the way. 38-21, they mashed our potatoes right up, stomping all over it. This recruiting update has to be one of the most depressing I've ever seen. Losing Jason Wheeler, Ashton Hatcher, Isaiah, Shane, Shaq, Jamario. Valami Salami as well, not my guy. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm now searching social media across five prospects because I have so little hours, but I just need anyone. As soon as we get any bites, I'm sending it. Getting late into the season, we're 0 and 9. Even the Aztecs managed to get a win. UAB Blazers, six and two in the season in town at CUNA, Idaho. We are running out of chances to get a win and their quarterback, Zeno, steps up and gets clobbered. That's the price you pay when you're a hard-nosed quarterback like Zeno. In good news, we got the stop, at least didn't allow a touchdown. Bad news, we're still the CUNY Kings and not someone else that has an offense. You know how sweet it's gonna be the day we get to a team that has somewhat of a Georgia-style offense? 90 plus something overall cooking at all cylinders well that's not today in the back of my head i've been meaning to ask y'all should we turn the notch down to all american because heisman is crazy difficult right now let alone we're the worst team in college football so the pressure gets there extremely fast already and then we have to deal with everything else i'm prepared to stick it out but it doesn't hurt to ask because it's just getting infuriating sack after sack no one open my gut's telling me to stick it at least one more season with a new quarterback see how the team looks as that will be a good test half the time i'm throwing these interceptions is because i don't even know where to go no one's ever open not to mention you get like i said two split seconds to even get rid of the ball if you're watching at this point in the video you know exactly what i'm talking about that's cuny king style of football harvester around the edge little chunk plays like that get me fired up because we need anything out here in a touchdown it feels so good when we hit pater it is a sensational feeling like a little dopamine hit every single time we hit it because it doesn't happen often third and 12 acres got a step off the jump but he drops it i'll entertain the home crowd if i hit three it'll be a one possession game so that's what we want to see right here bingo down by eight few minutes to work pressure all up in our grill step up take off not even close. Once more, another game of what could have been, what would have been. Because everything right now, not happening. This is a touchdown to Harvester. At least we got a running back I can rely on. Because that's about all I got right now. Another potato bites the dust. And another one down. And another one down. Right now, all I can call them are mashed potatoes. Once we start cooking, we'll bake those potatoes. <laughs> Christmas came early to CUNA, Idaho. Craig Mangum, welcome. Ezekiel tongues when you're tonguing down all the potatoes 
and balls across the field. I can't wait to see it tight end. Landing those guys freed up some hours to send the house on a few other guys. Shaquille Brown, because I can call him Shaq. And then shoot, might as well live like Larry. Give him a visit. 0-10, oh, we still got one more Mountain West Conference game. It's on the road against the Rams. Maybe we can squeak something out. Opening kickoff, Colorado State's 4-5. and five. They're looking to win a couple more games to become bowl eligible. Let's squash their plans, or should I say mash their plans. The thing about college football is that Old McDonald, as rich as he is for his inventions and discoveries, it doesn't really translate over here on the gridiron. We need guys like Hayfield to have a heyday. Let's go, that's a start. Third and four, looking to cover both sides, all sides. It's incomplete. At the two yard line, this is extremely risky. Let's jet touch pass our way out of here, hit the spin, and at least not go into the end zone. Super sketchy stuff back here. Maybe the running back harvester will get us some separation who needs separation though when you got guys like hayfield having hay days just need farmer brown to stop bugging and just throw an accurate ball potato football would be much more entertaining if they were accurate passes for now the kings looking to go on a drive before half it's gonna be criminal if we can't walk away this season with at least one victory under our belt whether it's colorado state or our rivalry game next week someone's got to lose and i don't care who i refuse to let farmer brown go down sad as he's been doing so far and look at rock there he is boston rock that was a great two minute drive didn't want to get anyone's hopes up because yes we are up but how long they're about to score pinching the line back up over the middle he felt that one they won the battle and took the lead but the war is far from over this thing's just getting started time for farmer brown to have his heisman moment that's right heisman moment and it goes a little something like this bench out to meadow third and one handoff to bail the fullback plunges forward second and ten just take the quick dump off to rock now hurrying up to the line maybe we catch him napping in some department i don't know if this is the department but fourth and three low-key feeling like maybe we hand it off but nah we're gonna stick to the guns here heisman moment like i said boom first down from farmer brown he's having a good game today let's keep it that way how does that sound it works better for his noodle arm to keep everything in front of him which is why we're taking so many check downs letting one fly here sacked in the wrong direction is not the movement we were hoping for this defense is fiending for the win and we want to do offensive line just has to sell me like this don't they that is crazy and it falls to the ground. Last chance here to stop him on the ground. We do. If we thought it was difficult last drive, we have 27 seconds and no timeouts whatsoever. Throwing the pick right to the guy. I was waiting for the route to develop. It didn't. Close, but no cigar. Oh, in 11, here we come. That leaves for one more hoedown, showdown, rivalry with UMass. What you know about the Harvest Heritage Showdown, it is a iconic staple of CUNY King football. If we have one chance at winning this game, it's right here in this rivalry matchup. Third and five, Farmer Brown getting jiggy with it. Not a bright idea. In the rain, I don't think it's a good idea for us to kick the field goal, so we'll go across to Brent Aker. Spoiler alert, Brent dropped that ball that I thought for sure he had caught. And now stepping up to scramble, I pretty much targeted him. As they say, when it rains, it pours. That is seriously the truth out here. We can't find anyone, even Meadow, getting botched up. Against all teams too, this should have been the opportunity to go for the dagger. Fourth and 10, just calling up a good old goal post, letting it all fly. And that arm couldn't get us to the promised land. If we can turn this thing up in the second half, don't count us out of this game because I think we'll have the upper hand going forward. Beautiful conversion, it gives us new life, and that's exactly the life we just threw away to the linebacker waiting. He's gonna take it out of here, pick six. I just want to fast forward to a new era of potato football. I didn't realize one win was such a greedy request. That is all we've ever wanted. And we turn over on fourth and one. In the rain, night game, 0 and 11. There's zero people in this crowd except for our band. So I just feel bad for everyone that came to support 
the Kings this year. Because UMass finishes off the rivalry game, and we're 0-3 in all rivalry games, 0-12 on the entire season. Nothing went our way. Definitely not the definition of King football. It's end of season time, and Cade Klubnik is the Heisman winner. Time for the offseason transfer portal, all that good stuff, but the first thing on my mind is firing my coordinators. Interesting, despite my 0-12 season for the Kings, the Aztecs are willing to give me a hire. College football national championship game, Heisman winner Cade Klubnik could not pull it out in the big game. Oregon Ducks on top. Don't know why I'm looking at the season stat panel. There's nothing here exciting to see. Just a lot of mediocre play. All Americans around the league, one day a Cunic King will be on this list, but we're far from it. Donovan Ollie, first team All-American, second team as well. Another Mountain West player in Marshawn Brown represent. Lock in our gem quarterback on the freshman list next season. In terms of the Mountain West, Nevada went 12-2 and was ranked. However, I think Hawaii took the championship game. 7-1 and one in conference play. Old McDonald has no chance in persuading any of these guys that are transferring away, including Farmer Brown. It does sting to see these guys go, but I can't say their presence will be as missed as much as we might think. Only three high school recruits in the regular season. I'm about to slay the transfer portal. Not much time for pleasantries, just scholarships. If I'm doing the math, I can only send the house on about eight people. So I sorted it by national rank, and we're going to let it fly. Definitely want to include transfer freshmen because they could be here for the long haul. Now I'm sorting by interest because we had some Juco players interested in, in our team before the season ended. Except his proximity to home is an F, so we're not going to hard sell him. We're just going to send him on a scheduled visit this upcoming week. Can sell our man here on the dream of being a football influencer. Scheduling visits for our transfers. We're winning some, we're losing some. It's important that we take some risks here and hard sell. Try our best to just get whatever we can manage to get our hands on. There we go. Commit number four and five. Sydney Porter from Florida. Denario Golston from Virginia. Tyrell, another Florida boy. Jabari make it three Florida boys. We at least pulled something crazy last minute out of our hat to get the fifth best recruiting class in the Mountain West. Quantity, not so much, but one four star and 10 three stars. None bigger to me than Mitch Birmingham, especially after losing Farmer Brown back to the farm life. We have to rely on Mitch to sling it. One athlete here in Ezekiel will change his position. We're pretty weak in a lot of spots. A freshman defensive tackle would be a breath of fresh air. As you can see, our senior weeds is 69 overall. The freshman and sophomore Cobb will step in right away. I don't know who just went crazy in the gym, but after training results, we're up to a 78 overall. After going 0-12, there must have been a lot of inspired potato boys lifting heavy in the gym. With that, 2024 is a wrap. 2025 season is upon us. Let the sweet dreams of Mitch Birmingham keep you anticipated for the next season of CUNY Kings football. This Impact QB is our day one start. As always, keep soaking it up and hit that subscribe button for all your college football 25 needs. Soak them up, mash them up, bake them up.